Hey there, the governor is revising food and beverage rules, but he isn't 86 in safety measures. He maintains this is just a way to help struggling restaurants like 24 Carats. I need allies in this. I recognize the worth of my teammates. I recognize the worth of what we're offering our community, and I want to continue to be able to do so, but I can't do it just on my own. Sasha Raj owns 24 Carats Juice Bar. She's been in the business for 12 years and is feeling every effect of this economic downturn. No matter how much we've been pivoting our business to try to do online uh, curbside delivery, it's still not the same and it's not enough to sustain the um, overhead costs of running a business. Now the governor is trying to help restaurants, allowing them to sell grocery items like paper goods, cleaning supplies, prepared food in bulk, along with meats and vegetables, even if they're not packaged for resale, as long as restaurants follow strict guidelines. Many restaurants have unused commodities, food and otherwise, that could be sold to generate more revenue, to pay the bills, and help with payroll. Sasha thinks the governor's revision of rules and regulations allows a little wiggle room for extra revenue for larger restaurants, but it's probably not a game changer for her. While that is really helpful, especially um, with the loosening of regulations around the sale of alcohol, us being able to sell cocktails and things like that out the door has definitely helped. But we're not really taking, um, you know, we're not really in the business of selling things like commodities like toilet paper and stuff like that. Even with to go after to go, going out the door, and even kind words from a regular. The people here are just pretty freaking stellar. We love uh, everything that they do. The food is really, really good. It's simply not slowing the bleeding for a neighborhood business that's literally built with love. When I look at this place, all I see is like the overwhelming Hi, amount of myself Hi. that's here. And it's such a privilege, it's such a privilege to do this job. While Sasha can't say enough about everyone who's been ordering from 24 Carats, she can say that her team is worth fighting for and she hopes small businesses rally to survive the dream they were living just a short time ago. Rachel Cole, 12 News.